Before you can do any analysis in RStudio, you've got to get some data loaded. In this video, I'll give you three easy ways to get data loaded. You'll find some best practices to follow, and you'll see how to handle some common issues that you'll run into when importing data. These tools should get you ready for working in RStudio. So let's get started. Before we jump into importing data, let's get RStudio set up for best results. Working within a project creates fewer issues. I can't stress this enough. It sets the working directory so R knows where to look for your documents and it helps you stay organized while working in RStudio. Create a project by using the project menu at the top right of RStudio. Select the first option, New Project. This opens a wizard and we can select new directory, think folder, or existing directory. If you haven't already created a folder for this project, select new directory. Otherwise, choose existing directory and follow the prompts. Assuming you already have a folder where your data is saved, select existing directory. Then we'll click browse. We'll go to the folder that we've already created. We will open that folder, click the open button. Back in the wizard, we click create project. RStudio will now create the files needed for the project. And you'll see in a minute here, the files tab opens and there is our existing data ready for importing. This is one of the best practices you can do to get started on any project. There are several ways to import data into RStudio. We're gonna look at three of the more common methods, and we're gonna take a look at importing comma-separated values, Excel files, and tab-separated files. I'll give a step-by-step -step guide for each of these types of files and the three different methods that we're going to use. Just note that this isn't comprehensive. There's multiple ways to do things in RStudio, but these, I think, are three of the easiest ways to import data. The first method is using the environment pane and the import data set button. It opens a wizard, which makes it very easy. Our second method is directly importing files through the files tab. It's a quick way to get exactly the files that you want. And the last method will be writing code in the source pane, which will directly import data files. It's a little more advanced, but you can do it. One last note before we get started importing. The global environment is that top right pane. That's where our imported data will show up data that we create, values, and objects are stored for use by R. Unlike Excel, the data and our formulas or code are stored in separate documents. It would be similar as if all your data was in one sheet in Excel, all your formulas were in another sheet. But even there, it's not quite the same. In the environment, you can get a preview of your data. You can see the structure, classes of your data, observations, and values. You can get a preview of some of the data, but it's in an uneditable table. If you want to edit your data, we have to do through the source pane or the console pane with certain commands. Once we import data, we can immediately review it through the environment pane. Let's go ahead and get started on importing some data now. If any of the information you've heard here has benefited you, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. In the next part, we'll take a look at importing data through the environment tab. Using those wizards is one of the easiest ways for beginners to get started importing data. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch the next part of this video series.